Hey guys, I wanted to do a review um, on my HTP InvarArc TLP200. Um, the reason why I wanted to do it is because I had recently bought an HTP Pro Pulse 200 and I loved it. I wanted an option where I could have a stick only welder and I did a lot of research. One thing I really like about this welder is it can also um, do TIG, stick, uh, and it has CEL options which is uh, for the cellulose, uh, for the hard facing rods. I don't know how often I'll use that, but I will. And also it has pulse, down slope, and a couple other features that I really love about this. Um, now, it also has some uh, pretty good features, and I'll show those to you right now, and I'll show you what I like about it and why I bought this. I'll be right back. So I wanted to show you a couple of the features, and you'll notice I have a Miller Dynasty right next to it. And some would say, why do you need a stick welder when you have a Dynasty? Well, I also have a Synco Wave 210 right under that as well. And I'll use this more. And the reason I'll use the HTP is because of the functions that it does have, okay? Um, so let me just turn it on here real quick. Also, I, I wanna note a couple of things. It does have the uh, foot pedal control. Uh, you can add a foot pedal. Um, and it comes with the uh, large DINs connectors, which I really like that. You know, if you buy the, the Millers, um, I don't know, say the Maxstar 150, I mean, you're getting a 25 millimeter DINs, um, maybe a six gauge wire, four if you're lucky. Um, I'm gonna go down these leads, I mean, they're really long and look at the quality of the ground clamp, all right? So it has a metric bolt and hold it in. Nice copper lugs. I mean, it's got the copper strap in there. You don't see that too often. And when I actually connect this because of the way the teeth are, it connects on my ground screw on my table and I just let it go. I mean, that's, it's on there, all right? so. Um, so here's the features. So you have a couple modes. Uh, you can select regular welding mode, uh, like I said, CEL. Um, you also have TIG, which is awesome. And you can do a pulse TIG with this as well. Um, now on the other side, right here, you can change pretty much um, the dig feature. So, you know, I keep mine around 40. Right, but, but it goes up to 200, okay? So I'm gonna put it at 40. And then this is the pulse fre frequency. So I'm on five, I'm gonna dial it back to about 4.5. So it goes to 0.04 all the way to five. You can shut this off too if you want. Um, you don't have to use this, but I wanna show you this for a specific reason. All right, so now if you notice, my machine set up for 160 amps. And the reason why I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna run eighth inch Lincoln rod um, and I'm gonna do this on an eighth inch sheet metal. And one of the reasons why I, why I wanna do this is because, like I said, I bought this machine and I was very, very discouraged on how it welded, okay? And I'm gonna show you some of my welds from yesterday, all right? So I, I tried this yesterday. I, I was almost gonna send it back. I'm like, you know, there's, there's something wrong with this. And you know what? I have the Dynasty. No big deal, right? So let me show you these welds here. So here are my welds. All right, so, you know, I've welded with a whole bar stick mate. I've done, you know, not extensive stick welding, but some. So enough to know better, enough to know that this was terrible for me, right? So I'm gonna do a test now just to show you kind of how I do now um, after talking to Peter and, you know, kind of doing some tweaking, I'm going to do a, uh, couple of eighth inch sheets and, uh, we'll see what happens here. So uh, I'm going to take you along with me. Like I said, I'm going to leave it at 160. Uh, my pulse is at four and a half and my dig, um, my arc control is really around 40. Okay. Um, and I did that for a reason why, you know, putting at 40, my stick will probably never stick. Uh, especially at 160, it's probably not going to stick. Uh, if anything, at that that higher amperage, I might get some spatter, but we'll see. Let's let's run it, okay? And I also did this stuff yesterday, so I'm going to show you a couple beads and uh, go from there, okay? All right, so here we go. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, burn a couple rods on here. Uh, this is at 160. See what happens. So we're gonna let that cool for a second. We're gonna try to lay this on some uh, eighth inch sheet and see how it does. All right, so I dialed it down around 125, just, uh, just a little bit thinner than that. This is about 3 sixteenths eighth inch. So we'll just let that cool down for a second. Try to clean up some of the BBs a little bit. Okay, a couple more spots there. Make sure it's good. Yeah, that's about it. Can you see that? I mean, that's that's perfect. Look at that. Look at that weld. Virtually spatter free. Great fit up. And like I said, that's on one eighth. Okay? Let me show you something. Okay? Turn the light back on here. Sorry about shaking too. All right, so look at that. Today, yesterday, I was fed up. And I'm not good at stick welding by any means, so, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But I, I just want to let you know what a difference it is with it one day later and how I'm welding after I went back and read the manual. I mean, this loves, you, you can just shove the rod right in there and let it burn and let it pulse on. And you can actually feel the pulse on a stick and it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, this thing is great. I love it. You guys have to get your own because you're going to have to pry this out of my hands. All right, so if you want stick welds to come out looking like that, head down to usaweld.com and HDP and pick one up. So... All right, guys, I just wanted to show you that. Again, I have nothing to do with HTP. I wanted to do this for my own sake. Um, and I wanted to let you know that, you know, I'm picking this over a Miller Dynasty. So I know people might think that's crazy or bleed blue or whatever. I don't have a, a preference to any welder, but I do now. And it's, and it's HTP. I mean, these things are great. And, it, and if you haven't checked out my Pro Pulse video on... Uh, you know, burning aluminum through the mid gun. I mean, 4043 pushing that out. I mean, it's just unbelievable. These machines are great. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you watching my channel and uh, taking your time to do that.